Our walls need something to bear on. This is where bearing footings come in handy. Revit actually likes to call them wall footings, which, by looking at the button, it makes you kind of think you're actually adding a wall, but that's not the case. You're adding a strip footing that is hosted to a foundation wall. Let's go to our structure tab. Now, under the foundation panel, we have three choices. Let's go with wall. Now what I'd like to do is click on edit type. And here I want to click on duplicate. And this bearing footing is going to be two foot six by 12 inches. And let's get rid of that two that Revit automatically added. Let's click OK. The width, let's type two space six and hit enter. That's really all we need to do here. Let's click OK. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hover over this wall, but I'm not going to actually pick it. So if we just hover over this wall, and if we hit our tab key, now notice that the entire wall gets selected. Go ahead and pick the wall. Now if we pan around, notice that it puts it in. Let's go to a 3D view. Now this footing needs a wall to exist. A couple things to think about here. So if the architect actually had this wall in their model, we would not be able to host our footing to it. The structural engineer should own any structural wall that's in the model. I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these footings and we can look at some of the properties. I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit just so we can see it better. Notice that we already have defaults for how we're gonna add our reinforcing to it. And if we scroll down our dimensions, we can't change these because of the fact that it's appended to the wall. But notice the volume. We even know the volume of the wall. If we click on edit type, notice now that we can come back in and change the walls. But I'd like to point something out. So if I hit cancel here, and if I change an item in this property set, it's only going to reflect the one footing that I have selected. If I click on edit type, if I change anything here, it's going to affect every single bearing footing, two foot six by 12 inch that we have in the entire model. Keep that in mind when you're modeling items. I wanna click okay. I'm gonna hit escape. Just make sure one last time that you go around and make sure that all your footings are in and that they look correct. There, that's how you add strip footings.